from the Upco Studios in Oklahoma City. This is a Bob Moore Ford Thunder update with Anthony Slater. I'm Jenny Carlson. Well, Thunder season almost upon us. Lots of young guys that are going to play pretty major roles. How is that going to impact what we see out of this team? Well, I think it's just going to be a work in progress pretty much right away. I mean, you got Jeremy Lamb's going to get big minutes early. We don't know anything about him. It's basically his rookie year. He played last year, but he didn't play last year, basically. Right. He played in the D-League. Uh, Reggie Jackson, who's going from about 10 minutes to about 35, 38 with Westbrook out early. And then Steven Adams, a 20-year-old rookie, might, get a, might have a nice role. So it's going to be a work in progress. The good thing about this team is throughout the year, they're probably going to get better as it goes along because young guys get better. So Expect some rough patches, though, I think you could say, right? Yeah, I mean, some three for 14 nights from Lamb, some six turnover nights from Reggie Jackson in his first year really starting at point guard and then moving into a six-man role when Westbrook gets back. There's going to be rough games, but there's also going to be Jeremy Lamb going 9 of 11, you know, hitting <laughs> yeah. six threes. Get, you, so, I mean, you can expect, you know, rough patches, but also, you know, high points. Right, definitely. You mentioned Steven Adams before, and mm -hmm. he's really become the talk of the yeah, preseason yeah. for sure. So how much do you expect him? Like, let's talk the opener. How much do we think he might actually play in the opener? Well, that, the funny thing about the opener is Hashim Thabit the headbutted Greg Steams, so he's suspended. So he right. might, pretty much has to play in the opener. He, even if he was still like a work in progress, he'd probably have to play some minutes in the yeah. opener. It'll be interesting to see how he performs in that opener. I don't know if that's going to affect Brooks going forward. You'd almost think Brooks, I know he doesn't play young guys, and that's kind of, you know, he's gotten some heat for that. But this guy looks like he can catch and finish around the rim. He's smooth. And the NFL or the NBA preseason is a lot different from like an NFL preseason where it's threes going against threes. It's backups, backups. I mean, he was going against Carlos Boozer and holding his own. He was going against Enos Cantor. Joakim Noah didn't play, but, you know, Taj Gibson, some of those guys. So, I mean, he's shown, like, he can compete in this league, even though it was just the preseason. I think he's got to get minutes. I think he's going to get minutes. I think he may have already earned the backup job. Wow. Okay. Well, you mentioned Scott Brooks as you were talking about yeah. Steven Adams. How much pressure is on Scott Brooks this season? I mean, coach is always under the, under the mm -hmm. gun, but Westbrook out, lots of young guys, the pressure to continue to win. What is the focus on Scott Brooks this year? I think the pressure is a little bit more on the outside th than in. I mean, I think they, they like Brooks. They like the direction the team's going. They know there's, like we mentioned earlier, there's going to be a work in progress. You can't blame a Jeremy Lamb, 3 for 17, on Brooks on the sidelines. But, I mean, the whole offensive, you know, is he vanilla? You know, can he have a system, especially, you know, late in games when they need to get shots? Can he get shots that aren't just, you know, Durant pounding it for 18 seconds and shooting up a fadeaway. So I think there's some pressure there. There's some pressure with Westbrook out early. But, I mean, really it's going to come down to the playoffs. We know this team's going to be a top four seed, even with Westbrook out early. What is going to go, what's going to happen in the playoffs? The next six months are about developing the team so they're at their best in the playoffs. That's when Brooks is under pressure. That's when the games kind of can bog down late and when he's going to need to find ways to get open shots and, and big shots late in the game. Well, the first of 82 is Wednesday night, 8 o'clock from Utah. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.